Hello folks, Jose here for another video tutorial for WPBasics.org. So we've done a lot of work on our uh, theme so far, but one thing that uh, we might notice is that uh, we're repeating a lot of our code. So it is not dry as it is called, and that stands for do not repeat yourself. For example, we can see here in the index.php, we have this code here. If we go to page a single PHP, we have a similar code here. And if we go to page PHP, we also have some, it's shorter here, but uh, we still do have it here. So we really shouldn't be doing that. We shouldn't be repeating ourselves as much as possible. So we need to replace some of this code with something new. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is create a new uh, file. Let's go to our uh, theme here and create a new file. And we'll call that content.php. Okay. So now we have an empty file. So go back to your index.php file and take all this code that is within the while loop, all of this going all the way up to here, cut that. Okay and go to your content.php file and paste it there. Save that. Now, if we were to go to our theme right now and refresh it, there's no information because we cut that information. So we want to be able to insert the, con the code that is in content.php into index.php. So how do we do that? So let's do that now. So what we want to do is replace all that information we just cut out with a sing uh, with a single line and we would go like this put in a php tag and then we would get say get underscore template part and in here just put a single quotation and call the template part in this case it's just called content you don't need to put php or anything else just put the content inside single quotes and then end it with a semicolon. Let's save that. And if we go back to our page and refresh it now, we now have the code back. So that takes care of index.php, but we have to do something similar for single.php. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's single.php. Let's go into our, uh, inside the loop, grab all of this, delete that, and again, put a space and replace it with PHP, get template part, content. And let's save that. And if we refresh, and now we click on a single one, now we're back to it showing the just the excerpt and of course we don't want that oops so let's have a look so everything's looking good here so how do we fix that well we have to use some conditional logic so let's get started on that so just before we get into the conditional logic i've noticed something here we notice here that the footer is a little bit small but when we go to the home page, everything seems to be fine here. So we need to investigate why that's happening. So let's look at the, at the single PHP. So let's look, single, single PHP is right here. We have a container here. And if we go to header PHP, we have container here also. So we're actually putting in a container twice and that's causing that error. So let's go back to single PHP and let's just comment this out to test if that's correct. And if we refresh now, now you can see it's picking up correctly. So we need to delete this line. Okay. And then we can take all of this and shift tab it brings it back and uh, single PHP, that should be good. Let's save that. 
and it's still working. So now let's go ahead with the conditional logic. So let's go into our text editor here. So here is what's outputting the excerpt for the content in all areas. But what we want to do is put in a uh, condition, basically. And let's put in a tab for that. Oops. We'll say conditional statement. Uh, wrong statement to display content or excerpt. I will just call it that. That's fine. So then let's just put some condition, a PHP tags first. So then we're going to put in our condition. If mm, is underscore single, uh, then we're going to put uh, that mark. So we're telling it if it's a single PHP page, then we're going to do something. So put PHP tags again. If it's single, we want the content. Okay, then we end that with a semicolon. Okay, let's put a space here just so you don't get confused. Then we put another PHP tag, say else. Oops, PHP, the excerpt, underscore excerpt. And then we can put that. And we need one more line of PHP code. PHP, we need to end the if. So let's see if that's working. Let's go back to our web page and refresh this. So now we can see that the whole content is showing. But if we go back to our home page, it's showing just excerpts. And if we click on any one of these posts, because it's a single post, it's showing the whole content. Now, the other problem we're facing here is that on the single post, it's showing uh, these anchor tags, and we don't want that on single posts. We want it just to be a title. So let's take care of that next. So let's go back to our text editor. Oh, and the first thing we got to do is get rid of this. We don't need it because I think by having that there, we're actually showing the excerpt twice. So let's see. Uh, what's happening here? Let's just check that out. Hmm, come, it's doing that. Oops. Let's refresh. It's giving me some problems there. There we go. So you can see there's the excerpt once, twice, once, twice, because we have this. So let's get rid of that. Don't need it there twice. We just need a one save. And we should refresh this. Now it's only there once. So let's go back to our text editor now. So now we're going to work on uh, here the anchor tags of the post snail. Post thumbnail is what I'm trying to say. So we want to go above here. Let's put a space here. Okay. So we're going to put in again a comment. Let's comment it. Oh, this is a spelling mistake. Uh, let me fix it. Excerpt. Let's copy this, comment, oops, copy it, paste it, put a space there. So let's start in, uh, ch just change this here to display title with slash without anchors. Okay, so PHP tags. If again is underscore single post, okay, oops, next line, PHP, the title. That's what we want if it's that. Okay, PHP again, PHP, else. We put there we go. We're gonna put uh, anchor tags. Oops, href. We're gonna put 
gonna put in here some PHP tags. The underscore permalink. Sign my colon. Let's put a space there. Let's put uh, PHP tags. But the title. Okay, semicolon, and then PHP and if. Let me just check that code. Okay, so the code looks good. So now we can get rid of all this backspace, get this, and we're going to move it up here. Let's put a space there. And uh, let me just double check that. You know what, let's put a space there. Just so it looks neater. Get rid of this space. And that should do it. Let's save that and check. So let's go to single post. Here we go. So this is no longer a thing, but this is still a link for some reason. So let me check on that, why that's happening. Oh, I see, I see. Basically, I'm just confused. I'm getting ahead of myself is what it is. Uh, we're, right now, we're just working on the title. So we're gonna work on the post thumbnail now. So as you can see right now, the title is no longer a link. So now let's do something similar to the picture. So let's go to our text editor. And this area here is what outputs are, are um, whatchamacallit, post thumbnail. So let's delete that. We don't need that anymore. So let's start off with this PHP. And uh, we're going to go if, first of all, then we're going to put an exclamation mark because we're going to take a little different approach here. We're going to say if it, it is not, if it is not single, oops, then PHP and if has post thumbnail oops then we're gonna write the a tags then PHP the permalink and inside here we want PHP the post thumbnail so that's what's gonna happen if it's not a single it'll show with the anchors then we put PHP else and then we can say PHP again the post thumbnail and then we can say PHP and if and that should do it so basically here again just what we're saying we're saying if the page we're on is not a single post and if it has a thumbnail then display the post thumbnail wrapped inside anchor tags but if it is a single page just put the thumbnail is what we're saying here so let's save this and go back to our page refresh it Let's go to our home page first of all. You can see here it's a you see the finger, it's a anchor. You see that's an anchor. So let's go to this single page. And you can see now it's just the arrow, so that shows it's not an anchor anymore, it's not a link. Same thing with the title, it's no longer a link. So we have that so far. So if we scroll down to the bottom, we'll notice that in our single posts, our comment sheet is now missing. So we have to put that back. So let's go into our text editor. And at the bottom, let's put a little space. Say comments section. So let's start off with like this PHP. If is single. Okay. So if it's a single post, we're gonna put a horizontal line and then we're gonna put PHP tags 
and simply we're going to say comments template. And then we just have to end the if. End if. Save that and let's go back to our web page. Refresh it. And here you have our comment section. So let's say nice post. Send it. And here's our nice post. There you go. Now we have still that archive page and uh, single pages. And we, we can put conditional logic for them also, but I feel it might be a little too confusing. I prefer to leave them separate. So that's it for this uh, tutorial. We're gonna leave the page and the archive alone so we can customize them uh, in my view easier. And we'll leave those ones alone. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you liked it. If you have any questions or comments, please shoot me those in the comment section below or visit my webpage wpbasics.org. Bye for now. Bye-bye.